Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rahakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. The salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out this word and truth and sincerity. And uh, these brothers from Tampa here, this is the brother Ash. Mayakala. Kwame Ashala. Uh, we're just uh, going to do an in transit video, Lord, as well as edifying. Go ahead. Come, uh, let's start off with 2 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 14. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. I'll read it now, but yeah. Uh, let us now fall, it's like it, yeah, let us fall now into the hand of Yahabash Yoshai, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into hand in the into the hand of men. So, you know, us, you know, being in this faith, you know, the hopeful elect of Yahabash Yoshai, we are in a tough situation. And especially as a time we're heading into, like that's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. You know, the door's closing in on, you know, the men of the Lord as far as people trying to come up against us. You know, because they already already now, you know, it's more uh, spiritually in the mind, you know, they're coming up against us, coming up, scoffing, you know, uh, running on the comment boards, harsh uh, comments, things of that nature. Your people at your job giving you help or wherever else you may, you may be at, people in your household, your mother, your father teasing you. All right. But when this time starts coming, you know, really when adversity starts coming, people's true cause are going to start showing. That's why I say... Uh, you know, uh, the love of men shall wax cold, and the scapegoat is they're gonna start blaming things on the men of the Lord. All the hell stuff start breaking loose. They're gonna start pointing fingers at, oh, these guys are the problem. These are the extremists. These are the terrorists. These are yeah. the ones that's causing all this hell. And we're like, why we doing this? We not the Bible, yep. you know. And that's why that's why the scripture says, let us fall into the hand of Yahweh Bashan Shah because what are we gonna do against this great uh, innumerable amount of enemies that are coming up against us? Yep. The heathens, you know, uh, two thirds of our own people. Okay. Everything is coming up against you, uh, you elect, all right, you hopeful elect of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because it's prophesied that, you know, going into, uh, you know, us being persecuted. Yeah. And, so like, real quick. and even if, even if you're, you know, just a, a bootleg Israelite, yeah, you know, teaching the basics, or even if you don't know that you're Israelite, you know, uh, Ultimately, that everybody's gonna come up against Jake because they done like the brother saying they did they did it before in in Rome. They 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 blamed the the um, the fire on the it on the Jews and then they expelled them. All not just the, the not just the so called Christians, the ones that were teaching the gospel, but they expelled all the Jews, try to get them all out of there. You know, God, because Jacob Jacob trouble consists of all of us. That's you know, right. even the non believers, all you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans are getting ready to catch up. Because Esau, Edom, being the wicked, he's getting ready to come down with that great wrath because he knows his kingdom is up. So he's going to put his frustration on you niggas. That's exactly what he's going to do because that's all he sees you as niggas. All right? He don't care that you are the man of the Lord. And he didn't ever since. He, he took you and stole you. He brought you into a strange land, making you worship strange gods and beat you, uh, beat their heritage out of you. You know? Come on. Con, con uh, second Ezra 16, verse 7. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Because kind of, that's the main target, the ones that fear the Lord. Because we're the biggest problem. Yeah. The, the, the grimy two third nigga with a with a, a twenty two, you know, he's not a he's not a problem. Man. A nigga with AKs, he's not a, a threat to Esau's kingdom. Yeah. The, the men of the Lord are because through us we're casting down the strongholds. You know, the Lord's using us to to uh, make Esau bear, and that's a, that's a threat to him. You know, the, the like uh, the biggest. Um, the biggest threat in a world full of lies is truth, man. Exactly. And That's we right. got the truth. Like the apostle said, we got 100% truth. And so we 100% exposing this devil. Kind of on all levels, you know, all sides. You know, verse 71, they shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Kind of like the brother said earlier, you know, not, not even only just us, all you takes, man. You know, because Jake feel like just because he don't know that he's exempt from judgment. But the scriptures say the Lord shall search Jerusalem with candlesticks, man. You know, so the Lord is ultimately going to uh, uh, target uh, Esau, Edom, all right, towards you damn Jakes, man. Because the majority of you niggas is, is wicked, all right, and that's the spirit. We just went up, we just went down uh, to uh, to uh, to the car place down there to, uh, oh, yeah. the, uh, what was it, uh, Army Reserves? Yeah, 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 You know, we seen the tanks, we seen certain trucks, okay. you know, through the spirit, we started to meditate, like, that's the Lord telling us, like, look, man, be patient, keep doing the work, because trust me, man, once I raise uh, 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 Esau to, to my sword out of the sheath, all right, the Lord is going to swing, man. The Lord is coming to aid him. The, the Lord is a man of war. How is his name? 
So the Lord getting ready to swing this uh, sword, which is Esau, Edom, yeah. and G. I mean, uh, yeah, kind of G, bro. Yeah, because yeah. they, oh, go ahead, that's not. No, no, you got it. Oh, because I was going to say, because the Lord's indignation is kindled. And that's why it says indignation rests upon sinners. So, yeah, hell's going to come. Its course is going to come. But the people that are going to be covered are the one with the ones with this faith. You know, the the, the elect of Yahweh, Bashem, and Shai. Because all, all hell's going to break loose on the four corners of the earth. Hell's going to touch everywhere. Right, the Lord's anger is going to touch everywhere. Right. And there's only going to be that those select few, that the remnant that the Lord's going to have mercy on, that they're not going to be touched in this time to come. This, this judgment is for the world. That's why you came out of the world right, and you came into this state because you believe that Yahweh Shah is going to deliver you out of this hell. Okay. And all these things are for the wicked. But yeah, we understand that some of us is going to be martyred or, you know, put to death for the word. But the majority of us is going to be saved, man. Right? Because, hey, all these things that are coming... It's, it's, the, it's for the wicked for uh, score just for amendment. It's, uh, so, uh, I think it's in Sirach. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all this is for, for the wicked, you know, so and mainly the two thirds of our people, man, so they can get right. Because this is their punishment. We're going through our punishment, yeah. our chastisement, we live in it. But what? That two thirds, since they don't want to partake with us, they don't want to suffer with us. And with us, I mean, with your with, with with shot, because we're suffering with your shot. Right? So they don't want to suffer with us, they're going to have to go do the worst suffering on the planet ever. His, right. In history, known to man, and it's the worst that's ever going to take place, you know. So that's their that's their uh, suffering that they're going to have to go through. While we rejoicing, eating, drinking, mm -hmm. they're going to be suffering, mourning, and weeping. Right. And how I said that in uh, in uh, uh, the New Testament, he said uh, when they crucified him, Lord, what they said, crucify him, let his blood be upon our children. So those same two thirds are here, man. So that's why the Lord, there's nothing you can do because the scriptures tell you the Lord have put upon them the spirit of deep sleep. We're just here to uh, make these videos to edify the elect and to mark two thirds of our people, man. All right, because you're not going to get it regardless, man. All right, this is uh, Second Ezra. Uh, the point is seventy-three. Uh, Second Ezra sixteen verse seventy-two. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, and that's the day we're waiting on, man. According to Isaiah the thirteen chapter, where we see you mighty men uh, uh, crying. All right, that's women. All right, that you bear with child. You know, great man, great. Destruction is coming to you, so so called Negroes, Latino, and African Indians, upon whatever you can imagine, man. All right, because of your re rebellious hearts and your stiff neck and, and not uh, uh, and refusing the words of Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right, and the Lord is going to use uh, Esau, Edom, these other heathen nations, and the men of the Lord to do that, man. All right, verse 30, 73, this is the point. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. No, all right, because the scriptures say in Zechariah 13, chapter that he saw bring the third part through the fire. What is that fire? That fire is diversity, the afflictions that we're catching spiritually, man, so that we can be purified. So that, that uh, when we do come into the physical part, which is Jacob's trouble, we already been uh, 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 we already been uh, fashioned yeah. to that likeness of gold to stand and be as a brick, you know, grounded. as a stone, grounded, yeah, grounded in the feet. That's right. So that nothing can move us uh, through our out of our, our, our lot, as it is written, hold fast to that which thou hast, let no man take thy crown. You know, but two thirds of your people, you're going to get uh, wasted as a, a house that was built upon sand. Yeah. You see, because you trusted in the uh, oppression, you trusted in Esau, Edom. And the scriptures tell you, woe to them that trusted and go down into Egypt, man. All right, you got it. Yeah, if you can, uh, but we should keep reading. Yeah, yeah, we, we read it? Yeah, no, next, the next precept. Oh, God, spirit, yeah. spirit, spirit. Second Ezra 16 and 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and behold, the days of trouble. Are at hand. Yep, and that's where we are right now. The days of trouble are at hand. You know, like the scripture said, the beginning of sorrows. We're coming into that door of hell being broken loose on this earth, and specifically so-called America. Because you can see, if you've been keeping up with the spirit, all the hell, all hell's breaking loose around the world. It's going pretty much going like a world tour. The Lord's making a world tour, mm -hmm. killing all these fires. That he said they're going to be when He returns, and then that ultimate fire that the, the ultimate is going to be put out. Well, not put out, but you know these nuclear missiles yeah. is going to be a so-called America. That's right. You know that's why it says, uh, "Here now, thou that are given unto pleasures, that say I am, and there's none else." Mm. You know, uh, they say, uh, I'm a, "I shall not see the, or I'm, I am, a, well, I'm no yeah. widow, and yeah. I shall not see the loss of children." Yeah, okay. You know, they shall not see hell. These people thinking this world, oh, that's just you know that, that would never happen to America. Yeah, and this yeah. And that. yeah that's what it is. Cause mainly, mainly here in America, because every, everywhere else in the world, they realize that this shit is is not good. Yeah. Only here in America do people are ignorant. You know, their ignorance is bliss. Yep. That's why I said because of their pride that uh, the city shall be troubled. That's right. And that's why the Lord's saving this for last, man. He got all these uproars around the world. I mean, there's a few little protests here, but it, it, not, nothing like... Major. Yeah, yeah. nothing like where cops are shooting yeah. people, throwing Molotovs at right. cops, you know, tipping right. cars over, all kinds. You know, that's coming to America, man. Civil war. Yep. Yeah. 
God, and, and the hearts of you people here in America are, are very evil, man. You know, because you don't you don't know what it is to go without loss. You don't know what it is to suffer. So once you have to suffer, you're going to feel like, man, look, man, everybody got to fucking suffer, man. You know, you don't know what it is to be in unity because all you know is uh, greed and selfishness, man. And the scriptures tell you in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right. So these things are coming to you people, sad perils, man. Uh, second, that's just 8 and 50. Yeah, and, and that's why I remember in the Joker, in the old Batman movie, the Joker said these people are only as good as the world allows them to be. Mm -hmm. These people hate each other, you know, but because there's laws, there's, there's, there's things like that going on, people hold back their wrath against each other. But when all hell breaks loose and anarchy is in the streets, people are going to be killing people all over the place to purge, really, and manifest it. And uh, that movie, uh, it's a newer Batman uh, with, uh, uh, it was with Vane. I forgot which one. Batman Returns, maybe. Yeah, my yeah. What was uh, they were on the football field with Bane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In that movie, you saw how people reacted just because after the you know after they shut down the city, you know, and there was no more cops. What people the description tell you that they they shall um, not regard, they not regard yeah. So what they started doing, they started taking up the the mayors, the officials, and shit, yeah. and and you know making them walk the ice, mm -hmm. you know, or putting them down. But that goes to show you, man, when all hell hits the fan, people are just going to re re resort to their true nature, man. Yeah. And their true nature of this environment, because they, this is a, they're products of their environment, yeah. and it's going to come out and just, just to demons. be complete demons, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the Lord is going to be with that, man. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell you, shall there be evil in the sin the Lord have not done it. Yeah. He's going to increase the demonic spirit <laughs> in, in, in them, you know? Yeah. You know, right now you you might see a, some some the nicest person in your neighborhood. Man, he's gonna be the biggest demon. Yeah. Cause he's been balling balling it up the whole time. You know. Yeah. 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 This is a guy right here that can eat eat your fucking children, man. Yeah. You know, rapey woman in front of you, man. Have you tied up? You know, to the bed, and you drunk all you you off some. He done hit you across the head with a fucking brick. Mm -hmm. You know, you unconscious, but you, every time you get up, you 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 realizing your kids and your woman being tortured in front of you, man. By the same guy who you looked at and you know helped out yeah. this older guy you helped him cross the street yeah. one time you your know? neighbor bob yeah, yeah. man the, the lord is going to because you people don't understand the heart of the lord the scriptures tell you uh, uh proverbs 13 and 13 man you know you despise the word so the lord has sealed you for ultimate destruction the lord hey the lord you ain't gonna just keep taken out by a straight bullet man mm -hmm. The Lord has torture. Yeah, bro. The Lord is getting ready to torture. Hey, a lot of people are going to be bugging out yeah. from the apparitions. Yeah. You know, uh, that their worst fears is going to come to life, man. Yeah. And there ain't no escaping a, a plague of the heart. You know, and that's what a lot of people are going to bug out after two, maybe three days of not eating and not getting a good, you know, square uh, or, or some good sleep. Yeah. And people are going to be hallucinating. Just losing their fucking minds, man. Look, seeing, look, looking at their kids, and they, all they see is a bucket of chicken. <laughs> you know, like in the cartoons, you know, they hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see a, a chicken leg. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen in these in these last days, man. Yeah. And it's gonna continue and continually get worse and worse. Yeah. Until your house shot returns, and then that's gonna be the, the end. Yeah, yeah kind of, that's right. Second Ezra 16 and 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved. All right, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yep, and that's the and that's the beautiful part of being in this faith, knowing that the Lord told us that these things are getting ready to come to pass, they must come to pass. That's why He says, Do much tribulation. You must do much tribulation to enter into the kingdom. We know He's telling us He's warning us these things to come, but and what encourages you. And, and, and boost up your confidence. It's telling you that he's going to save you from these things. You yeah. know, with, with great destruction comes great salvation. Exactly, because that's balance. Exactly, I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. so is his wrath. So, so is his mercy. Yeah. You no, know, so he has vessels fitted for destruction and vessels fitted for mercy, man. In you know, order to make the Most High liar to forget our works, the labor of love. You know, if, if uh, all help hell break loose and the Lord just forgot about us, man. That's a false balance. All right, uh, verse seventy-five. It says, "Be ye not afraid, neither doubt." For you, how about me? I was shy. Is your guide? So, right, and you can't, and you can't for, uh, think that you're just gonna. It's gonna be, you know, cotton candy and roses mm -hmm. into Jacob's trouble. We're still gonna be seeing shit and going through shit. But what we have, we gotta have the knowledge, of wisdom, and understanding to know what's going on, why it's going on, and then we have, above all, we have the faith. So you have to keep that faith until death, man. You know, even if it means you gotta die. You know, that's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for faithful men. You know, now some brothers might be, you know, in a spot chilling. And other brothers, you know, every brother got his own measure of faith. And some brothers can't go through certain things that another man can. Mm -hmm. So some brother might be on the guillotine, you know, and then, you know, he don't, he he stays firm with the Lord on, until that thing drop. And then, you know, he get those powers or some brother, you know, just might be in the woods chilling, you know. Okay. Uh, verse 76, it says in the guide of them who keep his commandments and precepts 
saith the Lord God, Yahweh Bashmi uh, Shai. This is the last one. It says, Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yep. Right, we are, yeah, you got it. I was going to say, because you know, we're righteous through our faith. You know, we're righteous through the faith and belief in Yahweh Bashmi Shai. We're not. Obviously, it's faith and works. But it says it's not of works, least any man boast. You know, we're righteous because we believe Yahweh Bashmi Shai is. He is the power of our salvation. And he is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. And he's coming to destroy this place. And he's coming to deliver those who believe on him. And, and you, and the scripture said, he is the guide. Guide. The Lord is your guide for them that keep his commandments and precepts. And that's heavy because if you could keep, keep the commandments of Yahweh Shai, which is to what? Love the name. You know, the Lord gave us certain commandments. The love of the brotherhood, love of the disciples. They shall know you are disciples. All right, uh, to go out and fish, you know. Okay, and then the Most High gave us commandments. Then He said also the precepts, man. Yeah. Because if you stick to the precepts, which is the, uh, which is the, the, the word. Going, yeah, yeah, going into the prophecies, then you can never fail. That's why the Lord said, uh, "To knowledge, temperance, to temperance, patience." Hey, yeah. and, and going into that, uh, you know, pretty much this is our training. They're going in through the trial of our, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of spiritual book camp. It, yep, you know. So you know, when all hell breaks loose, it's not. You drop everything you learned. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, you went through that furnace of adversity and furnace of affliction to prepare you for this time exactly. to attack. You know, when all hell breaks loose, you're not going to be, uh, obviously, it's going to be a time and place. You're not going to be grabbing up people and slamming them. Up. You know, you're going to be temperate. Yeah. You're going to be patient. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to be bugging out and things of that nature. You know, you just, that's why you quote it, hold fast to what thou hast. Yep. You know, stick to what you learned, the, the milk, the things you've been built up for. Yep. You know, don't go against your training. Don't drop everything exactly. as soon as the, the sound exactly. of gunfire. You like, you just drop your faith. Yeah, like, what if the, 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 Green Berets or whatever they, they go through all that training And then as soon as they hear gunshots Over there in Afghanistan They just exactly. You know so they Fold You know yeah, yeah. Throw everything out the window Nah that's not how the elect's gonna be yeah. You know And the, the, the brother read that The most high is our guy Hey we walk by faith Not by sight So hey yeah. People that are Not not saying that we're blind Because we Our eyes been open But we walk by faith Hey well, uh, Somebody that's blind a per They usually have what A guide A guide dog Or some kind of guide You know Yeah, yeah. And that's of the Lord for us. That's right. Yeah, hey, man. Oh, hey, yeah, God. <laughs> and it's beautiful because hey, at the end of the day, man, you know, you say walk by faith, which we're walking by the faith of the, uh, the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. The belief that Yahweh yeah, Shemesh would deliver us. Which is our guide. That's exactly. right. And that's our guide. That's the most high guide in us through the Spirit, you know, because the Lord said, I will hold my right hand. You know, and, and he also gave angels charge over us that much. Let's uh, keep our foot from slipping, man. You know, but, you know, like the brothers were going into, the spiritual boot camp is heavy because. We're coming into the time when this is actually going to be fulfilled, the spiritual war. Once, once Esau Edom comes up against the elect. All right, in the book of Revelation, it says, Then he came he came and compassed around about the saints, and fire came down from heaven and consumed them, man. Because he's actually going to try to come up against the elect. All right, and the Lord is going to have a, a lot of things happen, man. And, hey, man, this shit going to turn up. And you people going to see who the Lord shall, uh, uh, who is the Lord dealing with, man. And when he lift up that standard. That's right. You, you, then you're going to know that Elder Pastor Har channel what what is a 666 was uh, uh was telling you the whole time that the mark of the beast was the rfid chip man all right that esau edom is the devil that the bible speaks of and that we got the truth like the brothers going into earlier man it's going to be known that the lord was dealing with great millstone man all right from elder apostle to her own down the sincere acumen in this thing man all right so that's i just want to bring that up okay that was it on yeah yeah, that yeah. Was it on second. yeah. So you, get, you got more I was going to get Psalms 50, uh, 91 real quick. Close, we can close out on that. Yeah, All right, come. Read a few of them out of there. This is Psalms chapter 91. And you better speak on this anytime. Psalms 91 verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hmm. Yes, I, the secret place of the Most High is this truth, man. Yeah. You know, this, is the, this, is the, this is where their refuge is. Yeah. And his word, his truth. God. And that's the that's the guide, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's the spiritual guide. Because you can't see this, but you have to have faith that the Lord is actually working with you in the spirit, man. Verse two, I will say, Yeah, how about you? shy. He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Right. So you got to be strong in the faith, man. The scriptures say, faith not to be strong in the Lord. You yeah. know that He may confirm you. Yeah, and that's why it says in Swak the fourteenth chapter, blesses uh, he whose conscience have not condemned him, and who has not fallen from uh, the hope of his Lord. You know, when when you see all this hell breaking loose, you start seeing with your eyes and saying, fuck, fuck up. Because there's going to be no hope. That's why it says the land shall be barren of faith. You know, ain't going to be no faith because everything these people have faith in is going to be out of here. The car's not going to work. The money's not going to work. The gun's not going to work. Nothing's going to work in these times to come. The idols that they're calling on to, they ain't answering them, right? You know, so, you know, the, this hope, you know, that's why I say we, our, our hope is in things to, to come. 
you know, because we you see fires everywhere, people getting shot up. People are like, oh, this this is over, this is then. Mm-hmm. But the point is that you know we're we're fighting for the world to come, you know, and that world to come is when the house shot returns. Yeah. God, that's right. Jump right to the point. Verse seven. Close out on this. Like, uh, Psalm ninety one verse seven. It says, "A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee." Like the brother was saying, man, the destruction, you know, like the brother I said earlier too, we're going to go through certain things, man. You know, like it's not going to be a walk in the park. But through all of these things, you got to remember through going through the spiritual boot camp. Look at how many times the Lord delivered you out of the situations you've been in, man. Mm-hmm. Look at the, look you know? at, that's why we have the scriptures, man. How many times the Lord on delivered Israel, man? You know, yeah. throughout the, all the scriptures, man, gloriously, you know, yeah. marvelous works the Lord has done to save us. Yeah. You gotta remember that, cause man, you might not have your Bible in that day. You know, it's gonna be all about what you, what you, what you have labored to to receive. You know, hey, and this deliverance is gonna be the greatest deliverance ever. You know, you have to meditate on that. You know, of course, it's gonna be the worst destruction, but it's gonna be the greatest deliverance. Right. You know, you want to be a part of that number of deliverance. Right. You know, being hit. You know, being hidden from these this hell to come. It's pretty much that's why I say we're in the world, but we're not of the world. You know, then the hell's coming is for this world, but we're not. We're not of this place. We're not. That's why it says, "Come out of my people." So we don't have to be partakers of our sins. Right. You know. Now, ain't the scripture saying back you up? It says, "Well, we look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness." Yeah. You know, that's where our mind is, man. The scripture say, "Lay up your heart, uh, lay up your treasures in heaven, where no man can break in and uh, steal." So, if you meditating on uh, salvation yeah. in that time, you know, and, and also ultimately to meditating on what the Lord gave to Daniel. Yeah. All right, and uh, you got those precepts got to come to mind because, like the brother said, the Bible ain't gonna build. You can't sit there and read what happened to Meshach, Meshach, and the Ben going in the time of Jesus' yeah. trouble, man. Yeah. You got to know that the Lord delivered. He delivered them. He would deliver you because yeah. the scriptures tell you, "Him that is uh, who, whose heart is perfect with the Lord, there is no fear, man." You know, uh, perfect love casteth away fear. Yeah. You know, and that's gonna keep, and that's what's gonna quicken you in that time. Yeah. You know, we're gonna be quickened by the Spirit of Power Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. You gotta get that oil while you can. Yep, you yeah. can just know one precept. You know, uh, just you know, the Lord's arm is not short that He cannot save. You can just know that, and then hey, that's that's what it is. You know, you hold on to that precept, and the Lord deliver you just because of your faith. Man. Right. Hey, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yeah. You know, he's he's our he's our uh, uh, refuge in the day of trouble, man. Just simple scriptures like that. You got you're gonna be popping in your head if you if you're a man of the Lord. You know. Kind of, so with that, you know, Lord's will, this was edifying unto the to the hopeful elect out there. Until next time, say shalom. Shalom. shalom.